Hey makers, this is Truveen and I welcome you all to Power Platform Deployment Pipelines Step by Step Tutorial Series. You are watching the second episode of this series and in this episode, I am going to talk about how you can create Azure DevOps project. To open the Azure DevOps project, first of all, open your enterprise level Azure DevOps. Here, my DevOps URL is dev.azure.com slash whichever name you have set up for your Azure DevOps. So here I simply opened my Power Platform environment over here. Now simply let's create a new fresh project at the Azure DevOps level. So simply click on new project and provide the name of the project over here. So I'm just providing the name as Power Platform Source over here. Keep your project as private and simply click on create. So this will create this kind of fresh project for yourself. Now over here from the bottom you simply need to click on project settings. Once you click on that you simply need to first create the connections. So simply click on service connection option over here and simply click on create service connection. When you click on create service connection search here for power platform. So you will be able to see this specific option over here. When you search for Power Platform and if it's not available over here, then you simply need to install that extension. And at the admin level, this is the link which is available. So let's say for an example, if this option is not available for you, tell your admin to install Power Platform build tools with the link that I'm providing in the chat window. Okay, they simply need to click on get it free and that will simply add this entire extension at your Azure DevOps level and this specifically require administrator privileges for yourself. So we are not doing that again because we already installed that. So in new service connection, let's select this power platform and simply click on next. Over here, you simply need to select the first option application ID and client secret. Here you need to provide the server URL tenant ID, application ID, client secret of application ID. Okay. So let's provide this information here. The first parameter is server URL. So in our previous session, we have visited our power platform environments, right? So over here, we have two environments, ALM prod and ALM dev. So let's go to that environment over here and let's copy the environment URL from here. So this is the environment URL for dev. Let's copy that and provide it over here. So I'm just providing this server URL of development over here and make sure that you properly added HTTPS as well over here. Let's copy this entire stuff and paste it in our notepad as well. So in future, we can use it for the future reference. Okay. So we added this URL now. What are the next step we need to provide here tenant ID. So tenant ID we already copied from the previous session. Copy this from your notepad and go and paste it. Same way application ID. So let's go here. So application ID is nothing but your client ID. Copy this. Paste it over here. Client secret or secret key. So let's provide this. Let's paste it over here. Perfect. And then you need to provide a service connection name. So let me provide the service connection name as source connection. And let's provide a description over here as this is used for source connection. Simply click on save button over here. So our source connection has been created successfully. Simply click on that. If you want to edit that later, click on edit and you can provide edit stuff here. Make sure you check this option grant access permission to all pipelines and click on save again. Perfect. So this has been created. Now same way, let's set up the connection for the destination as well. So simply let's click on new service connection and search for power platform. Click on next over here. Let's provide the server URL. Go to the power platform admin center and select your production URL. 
this is the URL let's copy that paste it open your notepad paste it here as well alright now similar way we need to provide couple of property tenant ID let's provide it application ID is nothing but your client ID client secret is your secret key so I provided a secret key over here here you just need to provide the name of your service connection and here I am providing destination connection simply click on grant access permission to all pipelines and simply click on save so this will create your destination service connection as well so the first step is to create the service connection references perfect now let's redirect ourselves to the project home page and now you simply need to click on repository section under repository you can see that by default it is showing you this kind of interface and over here you simply need to click on initialize from here let's click on initialize and that will create this read uh, readme file over here once this readme file is generated you simply need to click on project settings and from repository section click on repositories go to the security section and from user section select the first one that you have created now over here in contributes permission make sure you click on allow so that's it we successfully set up our azure devops so first we created service connection references we initialize repositories we provide the permission to appropriate repository as a contribute label and all good now in the next session we will get started by creating the pipeline from scratch so see you in the next session meantime if you find this video helpful and if it values your time make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel